Hi everybody, this is Sam Glenn. Today I'm in my art studio and I'm gonna share with you a little bit about one of my most popular paintings based on my best-selling book, Grow Through What You Go Through. There isn't a week that goes by that someone somewhere on planet Earth doesn't request or have one of these paintings commissioned. So let me share with you a couple samples, a couple practice paintings, and then I'll share with you a little bit about the meaning behind the painting. So here's a little one right here. All of them feature a tree, and below the tree, all the abstract. In the art world, we call this the abstract, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So there's a little one. They all look a little bit different. We got the light on that one. But the message is always the same. Grow through what you go through. It's something that we can all relate to, but they all have their own uniqueness and the message just resonates with us because we're all going through something. Everybody that you encounter is in the midst of a story. They're going through something and the best thing that we can do is encourage them in their story. So here's one that actually we just had a contest. Somebody won this one. It's going to Kimberly, Idaho. So it's got a little stencil on there that says, be kind. So this one turned out really good. All right, I'll use this one as a little sample here. As I mentioned, below the tree line is the abstracts. In the real world, what are the abstracts to us? The abstracts are the changes, the challenges, the unexpected, the uncertainty, the when we wake up, we're like, I didn't need this today. The inevitables, the uncontrollables, and the question is, what do we do with it? One of my late mentors, when he looked at this picture, he says, this, this is like life. This is the picture of life. And there's only one thing in this picture that any of us can control. It's right here. It's that little baseline that separates the abstracts and the tree. He says, that is our attitude. And with our attitude, we have the choice to use this abstract this junk or messiness in life we can use that to become better and when we become better we can inspire others we can use our experience to make a difference for others and we'll talk about that in a second but he said you have a choice to become better or bitter better or buried and that's a that's an interesting perspective when i think of stories of that inspire people to get better and to find, in my opinion, when I think of this picture, I think about, you know, how do we find the good in the mess? And really, the idea behind this picture is when you have the right attitude, when, you, when you're facing the messiness of life, with that right attitude, you can find the meaning, the message, and the masterpiece. And when I think of a, a story or an organization that exemplifies this, the one that stands out the most to me, the one that I absolutely love the most, is the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I love this organization because they truly represent what it means to find the masterpiece in the mess. As they help grant wishes for thousands of boys and young boys and girls that are battling sickness and cancer all over the world. I love this. And in fact, I highlight this story in the book grow through what you go through. I, I just think it's such an incredible story because when you're faced with an abstract and uncontrollable, you can get depressed about it, you can get sad about it, and, and there are things that happen to us that make us feel hopeless and helpless. But isn't it amazing what happens when we come together, when we choose an attitude that works together and we take something that maybe isn't the best and we turn it into something good, a dream, a wish. You know, I was recently on a flight to Orlando. I do a lot of speeches in Orlando, a lot of conferences down there. And make a wish, they grant a lot of wishes for, you know, young kids to go to uh, Walt Disney World. And I was sitting next to a family and they were having their wish granted through make a wish. And I got to know their story a little bit and they had, their little boy with them. He was about six, six and a half years old. And I asked him, you know, what's your wish? 
you know, what's your dream? And he said that my wish is to meet Snow White. And I thought that was precious. And, and he was all excited about it. And I said, Snow White, and, and how come you want to meet Snow White? And he kind of looked around and he said, well, because she's pretty good looking. <laughs> That was as precious as they come. But, you know, I'll tell you what, that is what that organization is about. They are the example of what it means to grow through what you go through. And every day they live this example. And that's why I love that organization and what they stand for. Because every day we're going to face the seasons. Every day we're going to face changes challenges, the unexpected. But the best thing about this visual painting is that it's a reminder, a reminder that we have a choice to get better or bitter, better or buried, but that also we don't have to go at the abstracts or all this junk alone. That yes, there is messiness in life, but in that messiness, there's meaning, a message, and a masterpiece. And when we come together and work together for a special cause, for a special purpose, that is the masterpiece. Isn't that awesome? All right. Hey, guys, I just want to encourage you, if you're watching this video, if your organization supports special causes, uh, this is a special shout out to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Even if you got five bucks, Hey, if you can walk around the office, hey guys, who's got a dollar? Just put it, put it in the can. Let's give it to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Support this organization. Look into it. If you guys donate thousands of dollars, do that. Do that. I'll tell you what. To, you know, it, it's one thing to just talk about it, but the closer you get involved and the when you meet a young child who has their dream uh uh, or their wish granted, or about to be granted. It is so exciting. Get closer to it. And the closer you get to it, the more you're going to want to get involved, the more you're going to want to just help turn those abstracts into something special. And, and it is awesome. So big shout out to Make-A-Wish. Remember guys, I'm rooting for you. Keep growing through what you go through.